Okay, so here we have the iPad app for controlling the system. And right away, we'll get straight into, you can see at the top of the page there, you've got the living room. Then over to the side, you've got some shortcuts. Over here to the top right, you've got some more shortcuts. Um, those are just you know, quick uh, hops between pages so you can get directly to another device, etc. cetera. Um, so you've got watch, listen. Those are your primary uh, icons here. You've got lights. We don't have any in the project, but uh, not, not now. Uh, more, that's for synchronizing uh, and updating your mobile devices to the most recent programming. You will need to do that periodically and when you're bringing on a new mobile device. Um, uh, comfort, that is primarily for thermostat and ceiling fan and fireplace, but the feature we're using it for too is for the wake up. And you can kind of set in a little alarm clock, wake up anytime in any room. It's very convenient. Security, uh, we don't have any security integrated in the system here yet or any cameras, but we do have some off-site cameras uh, that we can see from uh, either the on-screen or here on the mobile mobile devices. So straight away, we'll go to watch, uh, press watch, and then all of your uh, options are going to show up down here, and you can kind of scroll them back and forth. Uh, first, we'll go to the channels. Now, these are favorite channels we programmed in, and uh, you can just choose any of them here, and it'll queue up. So I'm going to press this one. I think that's Fox Sports Network. And then the TV is turning on, um, as you can see there. And soon that channel will be up and running. And we can hear it already. So that's that. And if you wanted to go straight to the controls, then uh, you can always press down here in the bottom left corner, and it'll pull up the controls of the device that you're currently controlling. So, uh, you know, and you've got all of your uh, different controls here. You've got guide, recall. A PVR, that's going to pull up any of your recorded shows. Let me go ahead and hit cancel and get that off the screen there, as you can see. So all the controls you need, um, scan over here, and you've got the number keypad. One thing you have to remember is that the star we programmed so that you can adjust the aspect ratio of your TV. You'll primarily want to leave that on full. For the most part, that way things are not distorted. And then here you also have this pound button. And if you see that, every time I press that, it'll change the aspect ratio on the cable box. Again, to get it in its native uh, re uh, format, you'll want to put that in normal. So the TV you'll want on full. The cable box, when relevant, you'll want to put it on normal. And that way everything is um, proportionate. If for some reason you'd rather fill the screen, then please, by all means, fill the screen. Uh, that's why those adjustments are there. So uh, again, here's watch, and we'll go ahead and pull it. You got DVD one, you've got iPad one, iPod two, but we'll go straight over to Apple TV. And Apple TV's a very unique source. Um, it was in the process of playing a um, a preview, evidently. So one thing about Apple TV that's very helpful to know is if you press the menu button, it'll stop what it's doing and return to the previous page. So I'm going to press it again, and then again, and we'll get all the way back to um, the main screen here. And then, of course, you can navigate and do whatever it is you want to do. And it's got all the different apps. It's got YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, uh, Flickr. Um, it's just got lots of cool options. Uh, you can synchronize it with iTunes, your computer. You can pull all over your photos. It's got a lot of neat features. Uh, one of the really cool things about Apple TV is, uh, let's say you have some photos on your device and you want to share them with uh, everyone and put it up on the TV. You just press that little envelope there, hit the drop down, and then voila, there it is. And you can slide it here, and then it happens there. So very, very cool interface. You can do that with music or videos. It uh, doesn't matter. I'm going to close that down. We'll get right back into the Control 4 app here. And there it is. So let's go to, uh, let's just go over here to Apple TV, or excuse me, Cable 1. Also in the system here, we've got living room cable. The major distinction is the living room is exclusive to, living room cable is exclusive to the living room. It's not shared in the other zones. And it's connected via HDMI, which is going to give us the best picture quality uh, possible. Uh, versus cable one and two, which are wired a little differently for the sake of the matrix system. So that's that. Let's go up here and get back to the main um, screen here. And I'm going to go into listen. Listen's really cool. You're going to see a lot of the same 
sources here. Um, but the main difference uh, that you'll probably find you use a lot is the My Music. Hopefully you will. This is all your music on the hard drive. This is where we put in the 500 gig drive and uh, all your stuff is here. Now, the first screen you'll come to is your playlist screen. It's very convenient. Uh, the next is your artist. Uh, there's all your different artists. You can surf and browse all you want to your heart's content. And then here's your albums. So you can look this way as well. This is a very large project, so some of your art won't, it won't load right away. It's a huge, huge file um, or folder. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, but for the most part, uh, you, you'll find you guys are probably going to use the playlist and then when you're, when you're really wanting to drill in and, and maybe create a custom playlist, which is a very cool thing to mention. Uh, let's just say you wanted to listen to 2000 useful or Josh Joplin. Uh, let's go to gravity and we'll hit play now. And as you'll hear, it's going to interrupt. Now the video keeps running in the background. This is a uh, worth noteworthy. Uh, the audio will not interfere with the video when you select it like this. Um, that can be very uh, useful depending on what you want to do. You can pull up the ball game and then have your music playing, uh, that sort of thing, and then easily go back and forth. So in fact, if you were doing that, then while you're listening to the music, you would just select cable one, and then you'll get your, um, you'll get your sound back like I just did. So keep that in mind. That's kind of how that works. Um, now let's get over to comfort. Here is your wake up features. I'll turn that on. And then you just choose the time you want to wake up. We'll set it to 630. Done. And then you choose the wake up that you want to wake up to. We got David Shuffler. Good morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Depending on which uh, which one you want to wake up to. Good morning makes sense for the illustration, but I'm going to turn that off just so it doesn't actually happen tomorrow or whenever you guys show up down here. So there you are. There's comfort. Here is security. Right now the only thing happening here are the traffic cameras that I uh, programmed to work. There's 45 and 71st, and then here's 45 and North Main there in Houston. Uh, so you can see what traffic, traffic is like coming and going down here. Uh, you've got the elevator controls, which uh, first, second, third floor, just press which where, wherever you want it to go. As long as the gate's closed inside there, it, it'll respond. House modes is uh, where you get some cool power. Uh, all AV off, outside AV off, kind of self-explanatory. Cable one, party, party server one, party shuffle, party Apple TV. Party uh, Cable 1 basically puts Cable 1 in all the common areas. Same thing with Server 1. As you'll see, it's queuing it up, and we'll start playing that. Uh, party Shuffle, that starts uh, David's um, shuffle and playlist in all the zones, all the common areas. And then we've got Party Apple TV. And so, boom, I just press that. And then Apple TV now is available in all the common area speakers. The game room does not display Apple TV, but it can play the audio. So that'll be real important when you're streaming, etc. So let me get it back to Party Server 1. As you can hear that pretty quick response there. It was already in play. And then now the video is just, just catching up. So there you are. Uh, let me do an all AV off. And we'll just turn everything off right now. And the really cool thing about uh, the level of control that you have here that you really can't quite appreciate unless you see what you're controlling. So not only are you controlling this room and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other locations, but you're also controlling this uh, somewhat large rack of electronics um, that feeds uh, the entire system to all these different zones. So uh, there you are. There is the brains behind the operation, complete with cooling system down there at the bottom of the door. So there you are. There is our system. And our primary focus is this application for the iPad app. And I want to get some TV on real quick. So, we hope that you'll enjoy. <laughs>